will this movie do for, for hack writers, sort of what Raiders of Lost Ark did for archaeology, make it seem sexy and dangerous? Well, it might do. I don't know. I mean, I think I think the the character I play, the ghostwriter, there's a there's an atmosphere that he's he's not done brilliantly. He hasn't achieved his dreams, you know. But he has um, successfully ghostwritten books for celebrities, like rock stars and magicians, and you know, put them at the top of the bestseller list. There's no question that uh, to, to be a writer who's not putting your name to your writing, who who who's willing to write for somebody else in their own voice, is probably not. A successful writer, yeah. Well said. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, who are you? I'm your ghost. Now, your characters in the film obviously are a little antagonistic. You don't know if you quite trust each other. Did you guys keep your distance on set, or? Good Lord, no. 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 We hit the ground running yeah. with, with a friendship. We'd known each other a little bit, seen each other around town, you know, one place, another. I was a great admirer of, of Ewan's work, and it was. Uh, so, you know, I, I was thrilled to get this job offer and to be in the company of you and Olivia and, you know, spearheaded by Mr. Roman Polanski. It was an exhilarating experience and, you know, the work was challenging, but at the end of the day, the execution was fairly simple, really. We knew our lines and set our lines and got on with the work and, you know, there was a nice interplay. You, you know, the, my first day on, on, the, on the shoot was a six and a half nearly seven page scene it's the my character in the in the plane so just seeing you that morning really and you start working you're mm. sitting opposite the guy that you you know you half know and he was incredibly uh, supportive no arguments moulin rouge versus mamma mia who's the better singer it used to be so nice it used to be so good no, it didn't crop up there. <laughs> Never. We should have no. done a little. We should have done should a little dance done. number at some point. Or, done, yeah. A little soft shoe or something. <laughs> yeah. Now speaking of going toe to toe, I mean, you both have done your fair share of, of epic films with a lot of special effects. Was it nice to just sit in a room and not have to worry about making eye contact with the invisible alien who's yeah. sitting behind mm. you or anything like that? Just oh, go absolutely. Toe -to -toe. Yeah. yeah. It was proper, proper acting work. It was really proper. <laughs> I'm trying proper, not to do proper, proper acting work, well, isn't it? Proper acting. Yeah, proper acting. Oh, absolutely. A couple of actors, <laughs> set, cameras. It was a proper yeah. job, yeah. yeah. No green screen, no <laughs> tennis balls on stage. No tights. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys also probably must be sick to death of people talking about potential sequels that you may or may not be involved with. So, Pierce, can you speculate? Is, is you and going to do a train spotting too? What's on the menu this evening, sir? I don't think so. No. 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 And, and you, is he going to do a Thomas Crown affair, too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your files are thicker than mine. Mm, yeah, may, might, we may yeah, well do that. Hopefully. We're yeah. trying. We're doing our best to try and do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's yeah. Yes, he is, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're trying to do that. Yeah, it's taken a while. I, it was never my idea, but the studio that uh, I was with, uh, they wanted it, and we've set sail with it, and now it's, you know, now it's in my blood, and I, mm. I want to do the darn thing. As an audience, we know what it means that Polanski's a great director. You see his films. What does that mean for you guys? Like, wh how is he a great director? Why, why does he attract such, such talent to his project? Well, it goes right back to his first film, Knife in the Water, a seminal piece of, of drama film which was so powerful and goes all the way through Chinatown. I mean, Rosemary's Baby, Chinatown, Macbeth. These films all have such a, a classic, iconic uh, way of uh, making the audience feel kind of slightly unnerved. There's a sensation in his films that you're seeing something through the prism of a lens that you've never seen before, and characters on a stage, and a claustrophobic kind of menage a trois. It's all of this kind of really cool stuff of cinema, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, Chinatown being the jewel in the crown, I suppose. Do you have something to tell me?